Even under a new environment minister, the Liberals are continuing their party policy of letting their favorite province just dump untreated human waste into drinking water sources and fish habitats. All the while calling carbon dioxide pollution and then punishing Alberta and Canadian families because of it. The Liberals are going to allow raw sewage, medications and tampon applicators into our waterways for at least another two decades. And some places in the country, well, they can dump their sewage forever, it would seem. Black Locks has the news today behind their paywall. Minister Wilkinson's department, in its notice of amendments to wastewater systems effluent regulations, said it would give municipalities until 2040 to comply with rules introduced by the previous Conservative cabinet in 2012. Regulations require that sewage plants meet federal standards for fish killing effluent like chlorine and conduct acutely lethal tests to safeguard habitat. Acute lethality is defined as sewage that, at 100% concentration, would kill half the rainbow trout in a stream over a 96-hour period. Cities, towns, and hamlets in Quebec, Nunavut, Northwest Territories, Yukon, and communities north of the 54th parallel in Newfoundland and Labrador are already exempt. Amendments would give all others another 20 years to comply. Wait, what? So some places, including Quebec, never have to comply with federal sewage regulations? Wow, let's go on. Minister Wilkinson, in a mandate letter last December 13th, promised to create a new federal office, the Canada Water Agency, to find the best ways to keep our water safe, clean, and well-managed. Environmental advocates in a June 12th petition to Cabinet said the nation is facing urgent and complex water challenges. But friends, this 20-year extension to upgrade sewage systems isn't an exemption to these liberal clean and green environmental policies. This is the liberal clean and green environmental policy. Actually, as far as real environmental impact goes, good or bad, this is maybe the liberal flagship environmental policy. Just, you know, dump your turds. Since 2013, Canada's cities and provinces have flushed 900 billion liters, almost a trillion liters of raw sewage into Canada's waterways. And the Liberals have been in charge since 2015, so the majority of that dumping has absolutely been on their watch. And as Black Locks pointed out, Conservatives tried to fix this problem back in 2012. One of Catherine McKenna's first jobs as the previous Environment Minister was to sign off on a massive sewage dump by the city of Montreal. It was a two billion liter dump that made international headlines. What an embarrassment. The next year, 2016, look at this. Quebec's environment ministry said it did not authorize the dump of 8,000 tons of raw sewage by the city of St. Hyacinth that experts and local officials believe led to the deaths of thousands of fish in the Yamaska River. Jump ahead to 2018, Longgill to dump up to 160 million liters of raw sewage into the St. Lawrence River. The repairs will take place over the course of six weeks, but they will only be releasing the sewage over the course of an eight day period. During that time, the city will dump the equivalent of eight Olympic pools of untreated water every day. Longill says they've obtained permits from both the Quebec and Canadian governments to proceed with the dump. Of course they have. Remember, these federal and Quebec politicians signing off on these absolutely disgusting sewage dumps are the very same ones who want to block Alberta pipelines because one might leak one day but probably won't and they think that carbon dioxide is a dangerous, deadly pollution that kills the planet. We should be taxing Quebec sewage dumps and not our SUVs because at least that is real pollution. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. At Rebel News, we tell you the other side of the story, the story that is not friendly to the Liberals that you won't see reported in the mainstream media. And because of that, the Liberals, well, they ban us from attending their press conferences to see the full story and to support our legal battle to be able to do our jobs in a supposedly free country, please go to letusreport.com.